Greetings to all. Welcome to CEC Pratikatmak Abhivyakti Series Lecture. The topic for the lecture is World Teacher's Day. And with me is Manisha Sharmaji. To begin with, this lecture will highlight important issues concerning emergence of World Teacher's Day. And for that, this lecture will explain the main highlights of 1966 International Labour Organization, UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers. This will also discuss significant inputs then from 1997 recommendation concerning the status of higher education teaching professional personnel. World Teachers Day, it is held annually on 5th October. Its aim is to celebrate all teachers around the globe. When we look at the history of World Teachers Day, it commemorates the anniversary of the adoption of 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers and for that let's now delve into the 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers why it becomes significant this becomes significant because it sets benchmarks regarding the rights and responsibilities of teachers standards for their initial preparation and further education recruitment employment further it also addresses important aspects of teaching and learning conditions the recommendation concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel was adopted in 1997 to complement the 1966 recommendation and to add here world teachers day has been celebrated since 1994 why it becomes significant once again we must understand that the day celebrates how teachers are pillars of education the day also reflects on the support they need to fully deploy their talent and vocation further this day also asks us to rethink the way ahead for the profession globally moving forward we must understand that what are the important united nations specialized agencies in world in observance of world teachers day The World Teachers Day is co-convened in partnership with three important entities. What are they? International Labour Organization, UNESCO and Ed Education International. The recommendation concerning the status of teachers as we just discussed on the date 5th October 1966, the Special Intergovernmental Conference on the Status of Teachers recalling that the right to education is a fundamental human right and that this recommendation talks about some of the important consciousness that went into to draft this recommendation let us understand the thought process within this recommendation you know that will explain to us that what actually went in to put 5th october as the world teachers day and related to it that what and how then world teachers day becomes significant quoting from the recommendation concerning the status of teachers 5th october 1966 it pointed out that it is conscious of the responsibility of the states for the provision of proper education for all and to that it points out that it is as per the Article twenty six of Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and that 
principles 5, 7 and 10 of the Declaration of Rights of Child of the United Nations Declaration concerning promotion amongst youth of all idols of peace, mutual respect and understanding between peoples. Further, it points out that it is aware of the need for more extensive and widespread general and technical vocational education. Further, it also talks about for the need for full use of the talent and intelligence available as an essential contribution to continued moral and cultural progress and economic and social advancement. Further, let us understand the scope now. It talks about that it applies to all teachers in both public and private schools to the completion of the secondary stage of the education, whether nursery, kindergarten, primary, intermediate or secondary, including those providing technical vocational or art education. So, the very scope tells us that how important teachers are from higher education to secondary to nursery to even vocational. Let us now look at some of the guiding principles that have been pointed out in the recommendation presented in 1966 and once again this we are reading from the main document that we got from unesco.org. The guiding principle says that education from the earlier school years should be directed to all round development of human personality and also to spiritual, moral, cultural, economic growth of the community as well as to inculcate deep respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. One of the important guiding principles as the recommendation says and we quote from it, utmost importance should be attached to the contribution to be made by education to peace and to understanding, tolerance, friendship amongst all nations. Further, the guiding principle says and we quote, education depends largely on the qualifications. It depends on the ability of the teaching staff in general and on human, pedagogical, technical qualities of the individual teachers. Quoting from the guiding principle, the status of teachers should be commensurate with the needs of education as assessed in the light of professional educational aims. It also points out that proper status of teachers and due Public regard for the profession of teaching are of major importance for full realization of these aims and objectives. Reading from the guiding principles again that teaching should be regarded as a profession. It is a form of public service which requires teachers expert knowledge, specialized skills amongst others. Then the guiding principle also talks about that there must be a sense of personal and corporate responsibility for education and welfare of the pupils in their charge. Further, it also talks about that all aspects, once again with respect to the employment, an important recommend, a part covered in the recommendations that all aspects of the preparation and employment of teachers should be free from any form of discrimination and that working conditions for teachers should be as such as will best promote effective learning and enable teachers to concentrate on their professional task. Moving forward, it talks about educational objectives and policies. What are they? Let us understand. Appropriate measures should be taken in each country to the extent necessary to formulate comprehensive educational policies consistent with the guiding principles and that education is a service of fundamental importance in the general public interest. So, it should be recognized as a responsibility of the state. 
then it talks about preparation with respect to the teaching profession that is with respect to selection and the recommendation says policy governing entry into preparation for teaching should rest on the need to provide society with an adequate supply of teachers who possess the necessary moral intellectual and physical qualities then it also talks about teacher preparation institutions that is the staff of teacher preparation institutions should be qualified to teach in their own discipline or at a level equivalent to that of higher education then it also talks about that authorities and teachers should recognize the importance of in service education designated to secure systematic improvement of the quality and content of education and of teaching techniques it talks about the need to promote the establishment of a wide system of in service education available free to all teachers then with respect to entry into the teaching profession it talks about in collaboration with teachers organizations policy governing recruitment into employment should be clearly defined at the appropriate level rules should be established laying down teachers obligations and rights then with respect to conditions for effective teaching and learning that is since a teacher is a valuable specialist his work should be so organized and assisted as to avoid wastage of his time and energy with respect to rights of teachers the recommendation points out the participation of teachers in social and public life should be encouraged in the interest of teachers personal advancement of education service and of society as a whole now with this we we will now discuss the important parts that is coming from the recommendations concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel and its date is 11th november 1997 the preamble of that that is the general conference of united nations scientific and cultural organization i repeat united nations educational scientific and cultural organization unesco meeting in paris from 21st october to 12th november 1997 at its 29th session that is and the pre- talks about this recommendation concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel 1997 it talks about that it is conscious of the responsibility of states for the provision of education for all in fulfillment of article 26 of universal declaration of human rights 1948 it talks about responsibility of the states for the provision of higher education in fulfillment of article 13 paragraph 1c of the international covenant on economic social and cultural rights 1966 further that higher education and research are instrumental in the pursuit advancement and transfer of knowledge and constitute an exceptionally rich cultural scientific asset the guiding principle of this recommendation talks about that the global objective of international peace understanding cooperation sustainable development pursued by each member state and by the united nations is an important guiding pillar and that teaching in higher education is a profession it is a form of public service it requires higher education personnel expert knowledge when talk when reflecting on educational objectives and policies it talks about that at all appropriate stages of national planning in general and of their planning for higher education in particular member states should take all necessary measures to ensure that higher education is directed to human development and to the progress of society higher education contributes to the achievement of goals of life long learning that is 
It also talks about that interplay of ideas and information amongst higher education teaching personnel throughout the world is vital to the healthy development of higher education and research and should be actively promoted. Further, self-governance, collegiality and appropriate academic leadership are essential components of meaningful autonomy for institutions for higher education. The recommendation makes two important aspects. Firstly, institutional accountability that is higher education institutions should endeavor to open their governance in order to be accountable and further that duties and responsibilities of higher education teaching personnel that is higher education teaching personnel should recognize that the exercise of rights carries with it special duties and responsibilities. So, we must understand that every year 5th October World Teachers Day is observed as we were just discussing some of the important perspectives with respect to the recommendations concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel which was adopted in 1997 and the earlier recommendation 1996 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers. World Teachers Day held annually on 5th October, it celebrates all teachers uh, across the globe and as we salute and celebrate issues of teachers and we value their contribution, we must therefore try to understand that what was the historical thought process, what were the main guiding principles that actually went in with respect to World Teachers Day observance on 5th October. And for that, 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers and 1977 recommendation concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel are very important. When we look at 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers, it not only presents an important benchmark about the rights of teachers, but it also gives us into important insights with respect to what could be the standards for important issues like recruitment, education, teaching and important learning conditions. We just discussed that how recommendation concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel which was adopted in 1997. This complements the 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers and therefore every year World Teachers Day has been celebrated since 1994. So, therefore, the, because it, the day talks about that how we must look at the important role of teachers. We must reflect on the support teachers need to deploy their full talent and that we must also rethink on the ways ahead for the teaching profession at the global scale. We must understand that with respect to recommendations concerning status of teachers 1966 that is important dimensions that is it is the responsibility of states for the provision of education and again this is with respect to fulfillment of article 26 of universal declaration of human rights that is it talks about being aware of the need for more extensive widespread general, technical and vocational education and most important looking at the scope that it presents the wide area, the vast ambit wherein which teachers are important from secondary stage to higher education to primary to vocational to technical and most important looking at the guiding principles that is it must be directed education, the goal must be looking at all round human development and also spiritual, moral, social, cultural, economic progress of the community and most important that is 
we must also look at the con with respect to the contribution made by education to bigger goals like peace tolerance friendship amongst all natures and most important that is we must also look at that the status of teacher should be commensurate with the needs of education now these were some of the important perspectives coming from the recommendations made in 1966 that is teaching should be regarded as a profession it is a form of public service and there must be a sense of personal and corporate responsibility for education moving things forward one finds that with respect to the vast array from right from preparation to the profession uh, teaching preparation institutions looking at the need of importance of recognizing the in service education designated to secure a systematic improvement of quality and content of education and of teaching techniques and most important with also looking at the important aspects of rights of teachers the 1997 recommendation concerning the status of teachers of higher education teaching personnel points out important aspects namely that higher education and research are fundamental and instrumental with respect to the pursuit of advancement transfer of knowledge constituting exceptionally rich cultural scientific asset so therefore we must understand that world teachers day celebrated observed every day on 5th october has some important some important aspects in store in order to understand the very aim of celebrating teachers all around the globe we must look at the two important policy documents that is as we discuss in the lecture 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning the status of teachers 1997 recommendation concerning the status of higher education teaching personnel both these recommendations point out towards the significant role of teachers all around the globe and also looking at important benchmarks not only with respect to rights but also responsibilities duties of teachers dear learners we hope that the lecture presented to you significant inputs with respect to 1996 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concerning status of teachers 1997 recommendation concerning status of higher education teaching personnel and with respect to world teachers day of held annually on 5th october we look forward to positive encouraging feedback from you all Thank you very much.